Today and tomorrow are Amazon Prime Days, so I thought I would take this time to do a special Amazon Prime Day recommendation video where I talk about the things that I've used and that I like. So some of these things were sent to me, some of these things I bought, but I use and like all of these items. I'm going to start out with batteries. Now I have reviewed a lot of batteries. Some of them are pretty good, some of them were junk, but there's one battery that stands out above all of them. That is the Truvalux battery. Now this is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It's got Bluetooth, it's got all the features. And I mean, I have a full review of this if you really wanna hear the whole thing, but it is a great value and a great battery. So I highly recommend this battery. This has become my favorite battery. So if you need a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that has all of the features, has great capacity, has overcurrent protection, this is the one to get, and it's a great value, so pick it up today. Now to inverters, and specifically to 12 and 24 volt high frequency inverters. And I've tested a ton of them out there. Some of them are junk, the vast majority of them are pretty good, but there are two that are really good, and then one is my clear favorite. I'm gonna start with the number two. Gandel I've been using for years. This inverter here is my biggest seller out of people that buy stuff off my website. I sell these things constantly and um, I love it. It is a workhorse. This used to be my main inverter for testing. I've actually upgraded to the 4,000 watt version of the Gandel inverter because it really punishes batteries. So Gandel makes incredible inverters. They got a wide range of 12 and 24 volt from teeny up to that monster 4000 watt 12 volt love them they are great 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 inverters now having said all that recently and by recently i mean this year i have been introduced to jung pao and i always think i'm saying their name wrong so if i am i apologize they make the absolute best 12 and 24 volt inverters I've ever used by far. And I have full reviews on everything. I mean, everything that I'm gonna talk about today, I have full reviews and I'll link all that below, but the performance is just off the charts and these things are so inexpensive. And this one is 84 bucks. I mean, you couldn't go to Harbor Freight and get a modified step sine wave one for that price. They're just incredible. And then, they're, it's Big Brother here, the 24 volt, uh, same thing, just absolutely incredible. And they make a 24 volt, 2000 watt, and then a 3000 watt. And then in the 12 volt, they have this line, which is kind of the lower end line. Still performs well, but the key eye line, which is what this one is, has the more fancy stuff on it. So if you need like a terminal block and a GFCI, uh, in a 12 volt, you can get the TI version in 12 volt as well. But all of them, their full product line is amazing. They are by far the best inverters. And yeah, they were sent to me. This one I actually bought and I love, but these were sent to me and I reviewed them and they're just the best. I There's no getting around it. They just make the best inverters at this price. Now, maybe if you spend, you know, 10 times the money, you can find an inverter that's as good or better, sure. I'm sure there are. I have not tested every inverter known to humanity, but I've tested a lot of inverters. I mean, dozens of inverters. Um, and they just rock, I just love them. So if you're looking for an inverter, any one of these inverters would be great choices. Uh, can't go wrong with Gandel and Jung Pal, my favorite. So now to charge controllers. And I always heard that Victron makes the best charge controllers and I always thought, how good of a charge controller could it possibly be? And then I bought one um, and I see why. If you've never used a Victron, uh, they are the best for so many reasons. I'll give you the top few. Uh, their app, if you get the Smart Solar, they also have one, I think it's the Blue Solar line where they don't have built-in um, app functionality, but the Smart Solar, the app is phenomenal. It has every possible kind of analytics that you could want. I mean, it's like having Google Analytics in your um, charge controller. 
So the, um, it's just incredibly powerful. And when you pick it up, you feel the weight. I mean, this is a small charge controller and you can feel how heavy it is. The performance is in incredible. The tracking ability, the conversion, uh, you get what you pay for. And Victron, and I'm sure most of you probably already know, they have a complete product line. So whether you need a teeny one like this, 7515, and 75 means the amount of voltage it can take, and 15 is the amount of amperage. Um, no matter what you need, they have a product for you, and uh, they have a, a full product line of everything. But they make um, the best charge controllers out there. So everybody knows that. But let's talk about something else. E.P. Everett is my workhorse. Um, I have a ton of them. This is my main charge controller. Uh, I just bought this one to add to my collection, and I bought this, uh, both both of these. Uh, I bought all of this. They have no idea who I am. Uh, E.P. Everett has no idea who I am. I bought all this myself. So this is my workhorse charge controller. It's a 40 amp charge controller. It does 40 amps, 100 volts. 12 or 24 volt. I use it in my 24 volt setup. Uh, they're just beautiful. I love them. So both of these are really good. Um, a third one that is actually in my system, so I can only show you screen captures of it, that surprised me, Batteria. And um, I did some testing on Batteria on uh, some of their small charge controllers and some of their wire, which was very good. And then they sent me a 30 amp charge controller, and it's incredible. Its analytics aren't quite as good as the uh, Victron, well, they're nowhere near as good, but they're decent. So Batteria makes a really good charge controller. So if you're looking for a charge controller, get this one, it's by far the best. If you don't have the budget for this, EP Everett is a solid workhorse. I've used these for years, absolute years, and I love them. And then the surprising Batteria, look into Batteria. They, um, they have a really good charge controller. So there's a couple of options of my favorite charge controllers that um, I personally have used. So now to solar panels, I'm going to quickly do this one because anybody who watches my channel is probably sick of hearing me talk about call sun, but I love them. I've been searching for panels for years because when I started, I bought some used Trinities from Suntan Solar. Probably a lot of people out there have done that. Uh, they work great, but they started showing their age. So over the last year and a half, I've been looking for better panels, small panels, 200 watts or smaller. And I've tried a ton, probably not everything out there. So I'm sure there's something I've missed, but I've tried a ton of them. And some of them are pretty good. Some of them were surprisingly bad. I've tried bifacial, poly, mono, split, shade tolerant, everything. The call sun panels just rock. They're dirt cheap. They put out more than standard test conditions. They're just well built. They're just great panels. So I love them. They're my number one. That's the only one I would consider even buying. I just love Call Sun solar panels. Uh, and that's all I got to say about that. I promise. So now let's talk about ways of charging a 12 and 24 volt battery. This one will do 12 and 24. This one only does 12 volt. So let's start with this one. Now, this one was sent to me last year, but uh, I love it. Uh, it only does 14.6 out, so you can't use it to charge cells, which I can talk about with this one in a second. But it's just an amazing charger. It does 50 amps. You just put these really beefy connectors on the terminal. You turn it on, and away you go. Um, it It's just an incredible battery charger. Uh, it's by Ardroid. Uh, again, they sent it to me. It's been probably a year and I use this all the time. This is an excellent, excellent battery charger. Now let's talk about a power supply. This is a really, really good power supply. And why you'd use a power supply over a battery charger is like I was talking about, if you have cells. So if you have a 12 volt, 24, even a 48 volt system, and you want to uh, build it yourself, so you have all of the little cells, you need to charge them to 3.65. You can't do that with a big battery charger. You gotta do that with this one because you can adjust the volts and the amps. So it's a really, really powerful tool. Uh, I've been using this one for a while now. Um, I like it. So if you need a way to charge either a full 12 volt battery or anything from a 3.2 volt cell all the way up to a 24 volt battery, this one's the way to go. Uh, it is a lot slower though. This will do 50 amps. This one, I think, does 
10, yeah, it says right here, 10 amps. So if you're doing um, a 12 volt battery, you know, 14.6 times 10. So, you know, you're talking a little under 150 watts coming in. So it's going to be a while. If you're in a hurry, use this one. Now, another thing about charging batteries in general, as many of you probably already know, is the slower you charge a battery, the happier it is. So some batteries don't want you to charge them at 50 amps. They want you to charge them at 20 amps. So in that case, that's where this guy comes in really handy. It'll charge it slower. But if you're in a rush, get that one. But these are both really good ways of charging a battery. So now just for some various different tools that I've used that I really like. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, the, this might open your eyes for different opportunities to improve your DIY build. Everything you see here, I bought. None of this is sponsored. So this is all me telling you I've used these tools and I love them. I'm going to start with this one. This is a hammer crimper. So if you're building your own cables, and you get the raw cable and you get the lugs. You put the lug in here and you literally hit it with a hammer. Now you can use a hydraulic crimper and I have a hydraulic crimper. They're more expensive. Some people think that they're better. I've had people comment that are in the business that need to build one for like some sort of super tech, you know, military space thing. And they're like, we only use hydraulic crimpers. For that, I say, okay, sure, maybe that's what you need to use. But for 99.9% .9 of people, a hammer crimper is the way to go. They produce great, great crimps. I love them. Also, it is really, really fun to pound the shit out of this. Um, it's a great way to get your frustrations out. <laughs> so they're just they're fun to use. Uh, and I love this. I absolutely love it. It's cheap. Uh, get one of these if you're into building your own wires get this speaking of wires and cable i see people all the time that use a knife or a blade to cut the sheathing around their cable and that is so dumb just buy yourself one of these you put the cable in bang comes right out these are just so so good to use i i can't imagine not using this tool anymore. Uh, it's just uh, it's an incredible tool. Cheap, and it'll really help your uh, workflow. If you're building cables a lot, and any DIYer out there, you know you're building cables all the time, get yourself one of these. Get rid of the razor blade and just use this. It's a, a huge improvement. Next up is this. This is a kilowatt, although kilowatt is kind of the brand name, is so it's kind of like the Kleenex to the tissue. So this is not a kilowatt brand, but it does the same thing, uh, and I love it. What you do is you just plug it into your outlet, and you can see everything. People buy these a lot of times because they're looking for rogue wattage in their house. They can't understand why their electricity bill's high. You put this in, and you can see what phantom loads are coming in. I think that's why they call it a kilowatt. But with this, you can see your voltage. So you can test for voltage on things. You can see your amperage. Uh, you can see how much energy you've used over a specific period of time. So they're really, really powerful tools. I use these all the time when I'm testing batteries, when I'm testing inverters, when I'm, uh, I just love them. They are a great, great tool. So if you don't have one of these, get one of these and uh, buy it today because it's Amazon Prime. Last tool I want to talk about is this. This is a multimeter and oscilloscope. It's just an outstanding tool that I bought earlier this year, and I don't know how I did off-grid solar without this tool. Uh, it is just a powerful, powerful tool. And look, I'm not an electrical engineer. Um, I don't have fancy, fancy tools, so I'm sure an electrical engineer would look at this and go, well, that's a toy. But for a normal, average DIY solar person like me and maybe like you out there, this is the tool to get. Uh, you can do everything with it from continuity to uh, ohms, you know, resistance, to just basic thing like checking the, um, the voltage on your, uh, your battery, uh, troubleshooting, uh, and it has this oscilloscope function. So if you want to see how good your inverter is putting out, as far as what kind of, what level of pure sine wave, this oscilloscope is amazing. I really love this tool. So since it's Prime Day, this is a good time to stock up. I'm sure there's a deal out there. If not, just get it anyway because it's a great tool. So those are some tools that um, 
I've used that I really like, um, and um, I would suggest you get one, or if not all of them. So I'm going to end my Amazon Prime special report video on something incredibly glamorous, fuses. And fuses are often overlooked. People buy cheap fuses because they are not really thinking, but you got to remember, this is what's protecting your cables, your gear, and maybe even your house. So please don't cheap out on these. And I don't know if any of these are actually on sale. I'm going to link them below, but you have to buy good protection. This is a terminal fuse by Blue Sea System. They make a whole range of stuff. Everything they make is excellent. This is a class T fuse by South Bend Components. They make great stuff as well. You could also get Busman. Those are, that's another great company, but please, I'm begging you, don't buy cheap stuff. Don't buy cheap battery switches. Don't buy cheap fuses. Don't buy cheap circuit breakers. Get good equipment. It's not that much more expensive and it is so incredibly important. So that's all I have for today on my special report of Amazon Prime. Hopefully you guys get some good deals on some equipment that you need or some tools that you need or some protection that you need. If anybody has anything else, something that they like, or something that is their favorite, battery, charge controller, views, whatever, love to hear your story. Please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to everyone soon.